Hello, my name is Eric Levid, and welcome to this video that will walk you through the process of configuring OAuth authentication using client credentials for the Common Data Service or Dynamics 365. When working with different organizations, we still see that there are a lot of organizations using personal user credentials when connecting from third-party applications to their environments. This is the way it was required in the past, but at some time in the near future, Microsoft will most likely not allow connectivity using username and password from server to server and required only using OAuth. The following slide shows you the required steps for configuring server to server or client credentials authentication. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create, register, and configure an app in Azure Active Directory, create the application user in Azure and CDS, and connect to it using server-to-server -server authentication. Now let's dive in and see how to create this. first thing that we need to do is log on to Azure Active Directory by using the URL aad.portaldarazure.com. You can also use portaldarazure.com to register your application. Within Azure Active Directory, we'll click on App Registrations. If you do not see App Registrations under your favorites, you can click on All Services and then navigate to App Registrations, which is under the Identity area. We'll create a new registration and call it Wild Dogs App Registration, as this is a Wild Dogs domain. Click on uh, Register, and we leave all of the other elements just as they are. We're using accounts in this organization directory only as this is required for the tenant that we are in. Once we've registered app, the application, or we need to provide API permissions for the applications. So we can click on View API Permissions or on the Navigation API Permissions. When we get there, we'll see that there is already an API permission provider, which is Read Access to Microsoft Graph. We're going to add one more permission and select Dynamics CRM and the permission that we're requiring is user impersonation. This will allow users to impersonate their accounts and connect to Dynamics CRM. Once we're done with this we have to wait a little bit until we're able to grant admin consent to the system. So we will click Grant Admin Consent. And we'll provide this permission. We'll accept it. And even though they might not show immediately, you can refresh the page until it does. We now see that under the status, it shows that admin uh, permissions have been granted. The next thing that we need to do is create a client secret for this application. So we'll go and click on client certificate and client, click on new client secret, give a name for the client secret, and set the expiration date to either one year, two years, or never to expire. The important thing to know here is that you should copy the client's secret at this point in time because if you forget it, you won't be able to access it later and you will have to create a new client's secret for your applications. So we'll copy the client secret and at this point, I'll also copy the application ID as I'm going to need it later in order to connect to this environment. Now that the registration is done, I'm going to go ahead 
a create a user in Azure Active Directory. This will be my application user. I'll click on the new user code, create user, and I'll provide a name for that user. I'll auto generate the password and click on create. Now that my user has been created, I can go ahead into my Dynamics environment and configure these users to provide them access to the Dynamics environment. So I have my Dynamics environment open and I'll click on Setting and Advanced Settings. From Advanced Settings, I'll go ahead to Security and Users. <coughs> The default view here says enabled users. I'm going to go ahead and change it to application users and I do not see any application user in here. I'll go ahead and create a new Now you will see that by default the form that opens for me is the user form. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the application user form. I'm going to provide the username from Azure Active Directory and copy the username set up their full name their email address and then the application ID from what I copied before I'll paste here. I'll go ahead and save and close. Notice that even though the Azure AD object ID says is required, you will still be able to save and close this application user. At this time, the app user has been created and I should be able to connect to my environment using the uh, client authentication and secret. So. Let's go ahead and open Visual Studio and I have here an SSS package using a CDS connection manager from Kingsraysoft. I'll double click on this connection manager. It has my credentials in it. I'm going to change the authentication to OAuth and provide client credentials server to server. So I have to provi provide the client app ID which I have written before or I just used right now I have to provide the client secret which I copied also and finally I have to provide the server URL so the server URL I can copy from my environment And at this point, I click Test Connection. My test connection succeeded. And I can start creating my package using server-to-server -server authentication. I hope this video was beneficial. And please feel free to ping me if you have any questions. Thank you.